welcome to the next one. So I chose this person here, and it's about to come night time. And there's another one that's a night quest, so if she doesn't take too long for her quest. Uh, hopefully we can go ahead. Hey there. Rehearsing for the big night? Where did you come from, handsome? Nailed to another video. I heard you, uh, singing. Don't lie to Lola, sweet cheeks. Bet you thought someone was strangling a cat. Uh, not at all. I, I... See this neck? You shouldn't be able to. Usually, it's wrapped in the softest, most rare of mink stoles. Lola was the grand dame of the bazaar. But until reunited with her beloved mink stole, she is unfit to perform. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved mink stole? Without it, I can't hit the high notes. And you don't see mink scampering about everywhere, do you? Uh, where is it? Earlier, a strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. I saw it flapping from the scaffolding near the GRE quarantine at the intersection of Market and Horseshoe. Lola is powerless to retrieve it. Uh, I could. Would you? Lola could return to the bazaar to entertain, not frighten children like a lurking screamer. Well, we can't have that. No, indeed. Thank you, my knight in shining... Whatever it is that you're wearing, I shall await you at the bazaar. It's Hurry. mostly medic set. My fans await. And also, the reasons for your bad screaming do not sound like good ones. Next question. How? How? Damn. Almost had it. It's gonna be like that, isn't it? More like squirrel than mink. Well, I'd better get to the bazaar and give this to Lola.
I also kind of want to get back into the sound because, uh, as I've learned, time doesn't stop. Months because of this ridiculous blockade of the center. When you go to like the other menu, it's not the actual this menu. Actually, pause. Go to your game menu. Uh, things still happen. Namely, the murder. Oh man, sorry, Julian is not being murdered. That would be awkward. I ain't leaving the bazaar today. The wind's blowing from the east? That's a bad omen. Be discreet. Not go shouting in the middle of the bazaar. They surprised me. How was I supposed to know they had here? But it's been you couldn't really nice. No more than you. Oh, here you go. My precious mink! Oh, you are truly sent from above. Lola is complete once more. You deserve a reward. Do you wish Lola to reward you with a song? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. why not? I sleep and I dream of your And from above, what have I done? like a soft turtle dove, I wake to the touch of your lips, your hands on my hips, my heart does bear flips. <laughs> Are you not hypnotized? Are you not enthralled by Lola's voice? God damn it. <laughs> no, I've had to kill Julian. I'll be I am. Soon. That was otherworldly. Such a compliment. You were such a dear boy. And a terrible liar. But Lola appreciates your kindness. You deserve a more proper reward than a song anyway. Take this with Lola's deepest gratitude. <laughs> Thanks. He's a murderer! Take him away! Aiden, tell them! Tell them Marco poisoned the water! Stop blaming others for your crimes. Aiden knows the truth. What are you waiting for, Ed? Hold on. This is serious business. So let's hear what Aiden has to say. Bevan's husband, Luke, he's dead. Julian says you know the truth. So tell us what you know. Oh. What's in it for me to say anything? A clear conscience? I thought I could expect more from a pilgrim. Aiden, please, don't make this a negotiation. A man has died. Ah, oh, fuck. I visited Julian's supplier. There's nothing wrong with his water. I told you, string him up. But, but I didn't poison the water. Guys, Aiden. Get him out of my sight, Ed. Stop, please, don't do this to me. Let's go, Julian. You can plead your case to the council. Yikes. Alright, I need to sell Eight. some things too. You've traveled through the Outlands. No, no, no. Any other cities still standing? Let's get over to the next place. Shit, it's, that sucks to suck. Core. Uh, what do you, what do you faster? Climbing.
Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. But then I see the goddamn UV light. There's clearly a story place I don't know about yet. Oh, where's my trap go? Am I at it? Was not paying attention? I knew this couple left southeast of Porsche. Do I have to accept it in the day, but it's done at night? I guess we're going across you town. You know why people kill themselves and are killed by virus these days. <sighs> Seriously, the dumb ledges. the tracking again.
Okay, they have to be accepted in the day. They're just being butts about it. Well, in that case... Shit. I guess we'll go help the school, because I am committed to doing two and one now. Despite this game's best efforts to really take like me over. So we'll see what the school wants. Uh, first off, trading. Buy it all. Fuck it. Anytime. No, I cannot take you there. We're in the middle of school right now. No field trips. Here, maybe. What's going on here? Hello, I'm Henkel. This student here was curious about my lesson today. About when the guns were confiscated in Villador. And what happened afterwards. He wants to light a candle on the site of the March Massacre. Uh, what? The March Massacre? Yes. 64 people died that day. Gunned down like sitting ducks. If you want to know more, you should go and see for yourself. Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. 
Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly hole. Oh, you think anyway, that? Anyway, could you light a candle for him, young man? You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. History is boring when someone tells you How? about it. It's basic memorization. It starts being fascinating when you can touch it. Touch it? Yes. Take this candle and go to the monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson was about today. I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. I was gonna go that I, I would have known this was probably be like. Ah, there's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then. And the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. <laughs> What happened here? That is where the riot started. People were terrified. How could they protect themselves and their families? There was massive unrest. So, a curfew was put in place. And homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe.
shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. Light the candle. Inhibitor container detected. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now, you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. survivor's trumpet. Oh, that... <laughs> Small change is supposed to survivor's guide to himself for profit. Nice. Alright, that'll do it for this one. Uh, I'll need to find my, uh, myself out of here in the dark. And probably do some more side stuff. Namely, I'm gonna make my way all the way over here to get to a very annoying airdrop and a night runner's rest area. It was uh, eluding me last time. We'll see how it works this time. It says it can be done with just 100 stamina, but uh, I was struggling. So until then, I will see you in the next one.